what is up drifters in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install ZML which is the best mod for PC players at the moment to use especially if you are into livery making taking photos videography and tuning of course this mod that I'm gonna be showing you also comes with Kino real car names livery extender Paddy's realism mod and Jean's graphics mod so let's get right into it so if you have never played Carrex before and you have a total playtime of zero hours please start the game and then as soon as you get into the game close the game so that we have created all of the necessary folders so the first thing I want to talk about is the advantages of having ZML in your folders ZML is a great mod with a great UI that makes it easy for your ZML mods to be accessed. ZML also has a verification and security system that you won't be putting any weird sussy files that aren't approved and that could potentially give you viruses as well. ZML also comes with the ability for you to change keybinds really quickly so that you can access mods uh, on whatever keyboard you are using. So as I mentioned the ZML mod that I'm going to be showing it also comes with the Kino mod which is used for many many things like uh, turning on your headlights and keybinds, hydraulics, livery sharing, tune sharing and other things like underglow it also comes with a mod called real car names so all of the names in your car garage will be changed from the car X default names to the real life car name it also comes with LTE pre-installed so that you can have deliveries up to 1000 layers and soon to be 5000 layers in ZML 2.0 update you can get this right now at a premium cost which I have no idea how much it costs because I'm not about to pay until because I know it's coming out for free Paddy's realism mod um, I don't know what this mod does but if it's there um, cool and Jean's graphic mod of course this mod is very helpful for people that have nice computers and want to make the appearance of their game a lo whole lot better. I'll also be making a video about reshade to even increase your graphics. So let's talk about the first thing that you'll need for the ZML download. You'll be needing WinRAR which is a free uh, to download software that allows you to unpack uh, files. Um, I will be linking this link in the description. 100% um, free to use forever. The next thing we'll be needing is to go on to the ZML Discord where they have uploaded the ZML bundle.zip. So you can just click download. Once the ZML folder is done, you want to go to your Steam and Carex and click manage browse local files. So here's the local files. Um, now all you have to do is copy and paste all of this into that file. Once everything is inside the ZML folder you want to click play so you can create the files. We have now created all of the necessary files to access your ZML. All you have to do is press F8 or FN8. This is what it should come up with. As you can see, you have a Jeans graphics mod, livery extender, put it to a thousand layers, Patty's realism mod, and real car names. In the keybinds folder, you can change the keybinds for everything and the settings for ZML. Let's close that. If you press F4 or FN4 by default, you open up your Kino mod. If you want to install a uh, livery onto a car, all you have to do is click visuals and load design and then you select 
the name of the visual you can also do things like adding a tag you can also do things like cinematics tunes custom maps neons hazards lights and yes I also recommend before you start up go to resource manager and download all three of these resource packs your file directory should now look like this if you want to add liveries then you go into K and base which is the Kino resources visuals and you have your stuff then you can also do it with the rest for John's graphics mods you will have your presets as well to make your game look nice thanks that's it for the video if you guys like the video please subscribe turn the bells on and share with friends and family have a good one yes